Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful shot of our main Broadway Avenue here in Orangeville from the very old buildings there in the 1800 building. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Isaiah 44 verse 18. It says, their eyes are closed and they cannot see. Their minds are shut and they cannot think. Here's my poem. When eyes and minds are shut. When someone's eyes are close to the truth, they won't be able to get deep into the roots. Their minds have been shut and cannot think. They can't discern, so they easily sink. With their minds have been blinded by the enemy, Without running to God, they won't have victory. Watch and guard your heart and mind. It will transform you and keep you from being blind. Here's my essay. During those years that I turned my back on God, I was doing all kinds of foolish things. I attracted people whose eyes were closed and minds were shut to the truth. So you could probably imagine what kind of life I lived at those stage of my life. Yes, I wallowed in sin because I was patching the pain with dependency. I wasn't a drug addict, but I was a love addict. I pursued love with a passion, not knowing that this is not a kind of love that will set me free from bondage. I was totally blind to the thing that would set me free, God's love. My mind was shut from understanding the unconditional love that God has already granted me through the sacrifice of Jesus' life. I thank God that he freed me from this oppression. Now I am free. Prayer. Lord, free me from not seeing or knowing your truth. Reflection. What were you freed from when you believed in God? In my case, I was freed from... Uh, love addiction, I was freed from legalism, freed from um, self-sufficiency or independence, um, I was freed from um, uh, doing things my way. Um, God's still working on some aspects of uh, my life right now, but I believe that as soon as I recommitted myself to Christ that I am freed and uh, is free indeed right now. So uh, what happens in this verse, it says that when you do not believe in God, your eyes are closed and they cannot see, and your minds are shut and they cannot think. In other words, um, the enemy preys on people who have um, a, a dwindling or unstable relationship with God. So what happens is he entices those who are doubting, because doubt is very, very essential in, in the salvation of somebody. Uh, the, when you doubt, God cannot save you, because God is the one who saves, but we need to do our part in uh, fulfilling that salvation. And our part is to grow our faith to believe even if we don't see, to um, be faithful even if we don't, uh, if we don't um, see results as we expect it to be. So it's important that uh, we have, uh, that we, we are able to guard our hearts and that we, we are not um, corrupted by this world's standards and what this world wants. Um, as soon as we allow the world to dictate its uh, standards on us, then we are already corrupted. And uh, the enemy will easily shut our minds and close our, close our eyes to the truth. And he would infiltrate our minds with lies that are sometimes half-truths but not really true, so that we will stay in slavery to sin. And that is how we get into sin. It's when we don't know the truth. Because the truth, as the Bible says, sets us free. So thanks for watching. And I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. And stay free. 
and stay in the Lord and seek the Lord and you will be free. God loves you so much and so do I.